थैंक यू संदीप एंड अनुराग फॉर अ वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव एंड अ वेरी एंटरटेनिंग चैट आई मस्ट से एंड एक्चुअली टू बिगेन विद अनुराग वन ऑफ द पॉइंट्स दैट यू मैंशन अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट वी होप दैट इवेंचुअली मार्केटिंग इज नॉट नीडेड फॉर हेल्थ केयर Uh, i think uh, and in fact you know i have a slightly tangential thought to that i think inherently it's a inbound duty uh, of all the marketers in healthcare to make fantastic products accessible affordable and also acceptable by the consumers so i think marketing actually uh, has a very different nuance in healthcare uh, i've been to more, many of these healthcare uh, you know uh, conversations where essentially it ends up being make great products and people will come and buy them but i think the marketing as a component actually is missing and the reason why otc industry is so small in india that's one of the reasons uh, i'm sure uh, my good friend sandeep would agree with that <clears throat> okay so what i'll do is uh, many of the uh, we have had lots of conversations about healthcare so i'll instead focus on the marketing aspect uh, of it uh, a question for the audience here so how many of you in the room are vegetarians yeah so thank you so we had some 40% confident hand raises 10% thought a bit and then raised their hands you know who these 10% were these are those 10% yeah so if i were to ask you if you are a vegetarian so there's a there's a 30 40% set here which is a vegetarian then there are vegetarians only at home how many of you are vegetarians only vegetarians at home you don't eat non veg at home so we have three hand raises how many of you can have the gravy you don't eat non vegetarian the the protein part of it but you can have the gravy again three hands up how many you are vegetarians on tuesdays and thursdays abirup you can raise your hand yeah <laughs> and then fish is okay some of our uh, eastern friends friends from east part of india and and now actually increasingly found in west as well uh, fish is okay fish is vegetarian jaltori correct fish is jaltori right so that's vegetarian and then eggs are veg yeah and the and the that brings me to the theme of uh, you know what i wanted to talk about honestly the title was also a little confusing it took me three times to go through my topic to understand what it means so i said let me interpret it my way um, so essentially the point is what now imagine you are trying to sell organic eggs you know this startup egos i was talking to their uh, cmo now you're trying to sell organic eggs and you classify your consumers as vegetarians and non vegetarians yeah versus classifying your consumers and appreciating the diversity as this which of these do you believe will translate to a better messaging for the consumers and then then adopting healthy egg eating habits yeah so that's where criticality of uh, uh, diversity becomes uh, important for us at marketing let's talk about a few more examples in fact this is an increasing diversity i'm sure many of you have read about it pretty much every forum you go to you would be hearing about it the top 10% are getting richer the rest of 90% of india is struggling that's the situation for the last 6 to 8 quarters in india and when you actually dig deeper no references to any weddings um i i hope it's not being video recorded so i have to be careful about my answers anurag um but yeah so you know there's an increasing diversity so for those of you who are selling products uh, which are being sold to upper middle class uh, next time you say my pricing cannot go beyond this think again because the top 10% the quantum of disposable income that they have almost 80% of disposable income of the country is actually now sitting in the top 10% of consumers the balance 90% have only 20% and the the bottom 50% actually have negative uh, you know surplus uh, to buy extra products that's the diversity yeah that is opening up and another interesting one uh, this this i'm sure this picture uh, explains that for anyone who says that we are trying to uh, you know we this is a unisex brand and we have a consistent tone of voice well men and women don't think alike they have very different perspective of life yeah and i'm sure the picture uh explains what i'm trying to talk about so every and this is again a generalization of course within this and we'll talk about further splits within this but at a macro level very very different translation of the same message that you will see for women versus men yeah um uh, fragrances um you know so for those of you who are trying to uh, launch a national product with one fragrance for example sandalwood 
um, sorry, that's not a preferred fragrance across the country. For those of you who are trying to, for example, launch rose water as a part of skincare, uh, and by the way, increasingly skincare is a part of part of OTC, and I'll also talk about at Cipla Health what is our definition of OTC. It's a very wide definition that we talk about uh, now as a company. Yeah, same is true for flavors. Uh, so northern consumers floral and musky tones. Um, West India con consumers sweet and tangy flavors. Uh, and Sandeep was talking about it. Even we have a clear understanding that India actually is 28 countries uh, put together. It's not one uniform country. And we actually see very, very sharp and obvious differences uh, between different parts of India. Um, and this is, for example, one of the other things that we sell. How many doctors in the room? Awesome. So maybe the raised hands uh, of these blessed souls uh, would probably relate more to this product. So this is the uh, World Health Organization o ORS product, right? Um, and when we started to market this product, we saw that there are, you know, it's, it's considered a very negative product. Only apple and orange, two flavors uh, in the country, very bad taste. When you have diarrhea and dehydration, your doctor tells you, go drink ORS. You consume it for three, four days and you're done. When we took up this product, we said, and ex exactly to the point Anurag was making, we said that, you know, what is the big change we can create in this country with this product? We said, first, make it really, really tasty. So we came up with 10 amazing flavors in ORS, right? Number one. Number two, we started to tell consumers that actually it's not for only diarrhea and dehydration. This product you can consume every time you want to consume a beverage, right? Only nine calories. Perfect quantum, very low sugar, very high electrolyte, perfect mix for your body. So in, every time you want to drink one of those colas or one of those sugary drinks, this is what you should consume. It's a super healthy product. Yeah, and our, we are now 6x of what we were in terms of revenue over the last three years. And we know that every time a consumer adopts this product, we are giving them a healthy uh, future. And lots of consumers, and for example, you are you know, it's a great product for the youngsters in the room, and I'm sure the older ones also do that once in a while. Every time you get drunk, right, this is a great product to use uh, for you to settle down very quickly. Acidity gone, you feel absolutely normal next day morning. Yeah, such a fantastic product to have. So the duty of a marketer, when you have a product like this, is to make it very acceptable to the consumer, give them amazing tastes and flavors, and then depending on what people want across the country. So you have North, you see different flavors selling there, eastern part of the country, western part of the country, some very different flavors across the country. So we've identified two to three flavors for every state uh, from that perspective, and that's what consumers are going for. And our job then as health marketers is to tell them this is a great product. Yeah, and that's where marketing is really, really needed uh, in this industry as well. And you know, uh, and, and you will see that these are very disparate thoughts that I'm sharing, but this is just to make you think. Uh, and I'm assuming most of your marketers in the room, is just to make you think um, uh, on how to take my product to the consumer differently. Let's look at, we said men and women, right? So we typecasted women think a certain way and men think a certain way. Now let's look at femininity. If you were to split femininity into different states, you will actually see a very different perspective of femininity. So depending on if you are a woman born in Maharashtra, to a woman born in UP, to a woman born in Kerala. You have very different perspective of life. Yeah, so the tone of voice that you use when you talk to women cannot be consistent across the country. Uh, West Bengal, very strong, independent. Uh, uh, women are defying gender labels. Uh, UP, uh, highly controlled in the past, and there is clear emerging trends of empowerment. Yeah, Karnataka, traditionally strong roles in society, Tamil Nadu, very strong patriarchal society. So depending on where women come from, their ethos, their, their translation of your message ends up being very, very different, yeah? And you actually, why to leave men out, right? 50% of the audience. Um, when you are marketing to a man in UP, yeah, violence, power, dominance. And I'm not typecasting UP men here. But there is an ethos that exists, and this is something that we've culled out after, you know, lots of consumer conversations in the market. Um, West Bengal, gentlemen, well-mannered, strong opinions, and very sensitive. AP, macho men, hero worship. Now imagine you're trying to have a consistent message to all these men, right? 
the adoption of the message would be very different depending on which part of the country you're coming in. And then when we end up blaming the product, saying maybe the product is not great, or maybe the creative is not perfect. I would actually say the tone of voice was not suited to the consumer that you were speaking with. Yeah, and this goes on and on. Very different codes for very different, uh, for different states in the country. Bihar, quest for power, success is linked to influence, Tamil Nadu, preservation of language. In fact, when you speak with Tamil consumers, yeah, uh, and again, I'm not generalizing, but one of the very strong um, voices that you hear is that, you know, we have been a part of India for 75 years, but our culture is 5,000 years old. So Tamil culture becomes critical. And those codes you actually need to understand really well before you begin to speak with your consumers uh, in the market. Yeah, um, for us, 20 brands, uh, and, uh, uh, and you know, we were two brands in 20, 2019. From two to 20, it's been a very, very fast scale up for us uh, and very different brands. Um, so we are, we are market leaders in pain care, market leaders in smoking cessation, cough are number two, um, weight gain, Endora Mars, there's an acquisition that we have done. So this is a list of brands that we have. But the point is on the fact that, you know, the question that you might have in mind is, so you have 20 diverse brands. And then you're saying India is 28 countries. So how do you speak with uh, people? And by the way, this includes Nepal and Morocco and a couple of other, other countries that we also are taking the products to and we are expanding to other countries. You know, it, it is very simple. Start with the consumer. So when our consumer wakes up in the morning, the standard regime of cleanser, toner, moisturizer, we have products for that. Um, Rivela is a brand that we have in skincare. Wash your hair with Tugain. When you're having your breakfast, do ensure you eat maxi-rich so that you have complete nutrition, uh, something that Sandeep was also talking about in terms of only 70% of your nutrition needs uh, are covered. You reach office, AC is on full blast, so you have a sore throat, you eat Coxil, uh, which sorts you out. And of course, in the journey, you, maybe you're traveling by bus, you get cuts and bruises, so use Cipladine, and it goes on and on and on. Yeah, and in the evening, uh, when you're thirsty, you're done with water, instead of tea, go for ORS. Evening when you go out partying with friends uh, and you are a smoker, uh, you have a tendency to smoke. Instead of that, junk it, use Nicotex uh, so that you don't feel like smoking at that time. So, you know, eventually you have to start with the consumer, be very, very precise with who is the consumer I'm speaking with. And if that is a clear, uh, you know, archetype that you have created, you will never go wrong in communicating with them. Because as marketeers of healthcare, it's your inbound duty to ensure that these fantastic products are taken to consumers. Most of the marketers in health marketing actually are doing a category development job. Uh, and it's a very, very difficult job. Uh, hence, you need to get the thesis right. And best of luck. Uh, I hope you succeed and that translates to very, very healthy consumers for the country and globally. Yeah, thank you. Maybe I can play an ad in terms of how this also can be, for again, those of you who are confusing, so, too many, too many cuts. Uh, maybe you know one of the attempts that we have is on Omni Gel, which is a market leader in pain care. On how they are actually, as a brand, we are bringing the consumers together, uh, joined by pain. Uh, can we play the film? Please? इस खुशी को ना कभी दर्द की नजर ना लगे इसीलिए ओम नीचर हर तरह के दर्द के लिए ओम नीचर जड़ से दर्द को मिटाए या थैंक यू